Hi guys. So um, I was gonna say I'm Sherzad Shroff. I do not know why I was gonna do that, but <laughs> uh, you know I'm Sherzad Shroff. Uh, we're back with the monthly favorites. These are my May favorites. There are lots of things I've been loving this month. I feel like I've been grateful for so many things that were in my life that I've kind of rediscovered now. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, first up, we do not have this pouch, but this pouch is usually in my handbag. And uh, I was looking for something in my bag, like my handbag's been in the cupboard for a few days and I like opened it to like see if I wanted to get something out. And then I found my pouch, which has like my basic makeup stuff, some meds and a gum and you know, basic things like that. And I rediscovered my beauty, my foldable lash curler. Uh, now, you know what I feel like I forgot, I, like I, I felt like I had not used the lash curler in what it, over two months and I just feel like when you curl your lashes, not from a beauty perspective but even otherwise, it like opens out your eyes and it kind of makes you feel like your eyes are less droopy. Um, especially when you have longer lashes and I mean this is what I've been doing for a few days, I've kept this out on my dressing table now and I just kind of uh, do my lashes every day in the morning just to kind of open my eyes out because I feel like my lashes were like weighing down on my eyes and was like uh, and now suddenly I'm like hmm so yeah I would recommend to all of you to not necessarily use this lash color I mean this is my folding one which I think is really cool for a handbag which is why uh, this came out of my bag I have the regular metal ones at uh, my house but um, not using those right now so I just have been using this but it's really convenient it's foldable and you can just keep it like this so yeah I use this a lot now okay another childhood favorite Ta -da! okay so this is the Saint Ives scrub now for those of you who don't know I think if you were a kid in the 90s or early 2000s uh, Saint Ives was not available in India like officially like it is now it was like available in the imported custom notified shops yes that was the word and uh, we used to kind of get this like as a scrub like the apricot scrub was obviously the most popular one at that time like big tubs of it or big tubes of it like this and anyone who went abroad would buy it for uh, everybody like oh my god i got you some scrub like it was like this you know gold <laughs> but uh, i had stopped using it and i'd kind of forgotten about it and then lately um, I feel like I love to have a body scrub like in addition to like having a face scrub I need like a body scrub where I scrub my whole body like once a week usually especially in summer because you're sweaty you're grimy and I just feel like you know when you rub your skin and the, like you can feel the dead skin I hate hate that feeling so I again this was one of the few things available uh, in terms of body scrubs so I ordered it this is pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub again I love the smell of it I love fruity smelling stuff and this smells divine <sighs> and it does the job like it's a great scrub as well so yeah I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a body scrub right now been loving this up next we have this hand wash now this is the Lux hand wash which is bergamot and mint um, it's something I had never tried before. It was one of the only options available when I was trying to order hand wash. And yes, I've been using the regular Dettol and like the, uh, you know, the sanitizer variety that you feel like, oh my God, sub germs mar gaye, yay. Uh, but I am someone who loves like beautiful scented hand washes. You guys know that. And uh, I saw this and luckily the usual was not available. So I just ordered one bottle to like have in the house. and. Uh, this is great for like when you're not going out and you don't want to wash your hands from a sanitizing perspective like when you're just in the house and you know you're not leaving or touching anything and you just want to like smell good. I love 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 the smell of this. It's inexpensive. It smells good and yeah it feels like a really fancy expensive uh, hand wash which it's not so loving this. Up next, we have doggy cleansing wipes. Now, uh, you guys saw this in my last, I think, self-love Sunday vlog. Yeah, I've been using these for the past week. 
they are amazing and it's something that's become my favorite because you know Mars is a dog that hates water or any liquid like he doesn't like to be wet I don't know why but I think a lot of Indies apparently don't like to be wet is what I've heard um, so it's really hard and right now whenever you take your pets down for a walk you have to have to wipe down their paws and their legs and whatever because the, with the virus around you can't take any chances and these have really been a godsend in that department because it's just easy to wipe his feet down and get like get them clean. Um, I will link these below along with everything else in the video but I'll also give you options because I love these so much. I, I did a little more research and I found more options as well to order so I'll put all of them in the description. If you have a pet, this is really really helpful right now guys and I've really been like oh thank god this has made my job much easier and uh, you know he's le he's also more happy with the like the whole cleaning process so um i think this is something we're gonna have to do for a really long time so if um, you have a pet get used to this okay next up time for my favorite movies yes it's not a favorite movie this time there are like three or four I've actually been watching a lot of movies right now because I feel like I was watching a lot of shows and I feel when you watch shows you get really consumed right and then it's addictive because you want to watch episode after episode so I feel like a movie you know when you have like that two hour commitment you finish the movie and you're done so I've been watching a lot of movies lately uh first one that I loved was the new Dumbo I watched that on Hotstar and I remember watching Dumbo, uh, the cartoon as a kid and I love, 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 love that uh, version of the movie as well. So on a day that I was feeling slightly blah and meh, I was like, I want to watch something that's feel good, something that's free of any toxicity and just leaves you with a happy feeling. And I saw this as I was browsing and I was like, oh, let's watch Dumbo. And I loved it. It was so cute. And uh, the new Dumbo is uh, as cute as the old Dumbo, if not cuter. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was just lovely and I would totally recommend it. Then we have The Wrong Missy on Netflix, okay? Now, if you're looking for something light, easy, funny, you know, one of those like uh, 90s uh, that, you know, just keeps you laughing and again, just is free of toxicity or free of any negative elements. Like, you don't, it's not heavy on the head, you know? It's just like, okay, let me watch it, let me laugh, let me forget it. That's what this is and it was really funny and really good. The last one on my list is a little heavy and a little serious. It's A Secret Love. Now this movie moved me so much. Uh, like I was actually in tears uh, towards the end of it. I'm obviously going to share a lot of details because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But it's about two women um, who are lesbians and how their love was secret for so many years. Like being lesbian in the 40s and 50s was not acceptable. So they kind of moved in as roommates and friends and their families didn't know until recently uh, where they came out to their to like their nieces and nephews. And uh, imagine, imagine living your whole life like that, like you having to keep your love secret. And it was just, um, it, it just moved me so much. And I was like, I'm so grateful that we are in the time that we are that uh, you know gay marriage is legal in a lot of uh, countries and they eventually get married which is just so beautiful and uh, yeah I would totally totally recommend it to everybody like must watch okay food favorite of the month is something that is going to surprise you it is pudina okra chips bhindi basically it's a bhindi that is fried uh, or air fried i'm guessing um i don't know but it is so so yum like it's got some masala on it and um, i like i've been finishing one packet at a time i randomly ordered a whole bunch of snacks from uh from them because I, nothing else was available and they started delivery in bombay and this came with the stuff like i would have never ordered like a bhindi like this <laughs> as a snack but you can hear a crunch and this it's so light so yummy mm. i've never loved bindi so much never 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 it's so good okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i will resume the bindi fest after this video <laughs> but really like yummy and healthy and it's something i would have never thought that i would have liked but like now that I've tried it, I'm addicted. So yeah, loving that. 
Next up, we have this bad boy. Never comes on when you need it to. <laughs> oh, the power's so on. Oh, silly Sherry. Okay, take this again. I'm gonna take this again. Take two. Next up, we have this bad boy. <laughs> so yeah, this is my neck massager and shoulder massager. You guys saw this um, on, uh, I think the same vlog is last time. And if you haven't watched that vlog, I will link it here. Check it out. Okay, so the best part about this, three modes. Okay, so first one, is this one which where you can see the red light that's the heat activation so it actually works with heat um, then you can do it without and of course there's also like it moves in two directions so you can move it this way that way so it's amazing like i love 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 how amazing this feels uh you guys saw in the vlog usually this is me uh, just put it on and sit back and like uh You like forget everything else. It's like I don't want to shoot this video anymore now. I just want to be. It is amazing. Okay, next up we have my favorite song. It is Play Date. You guys have heard this everywhere on Instagram, and I cannot get it out of my head. Like I listen to this song at least three times a day. Are you ready? Okay, so I love, love, love the song. It's all about self-love and people have been putting up their play date edits on Instagram. I haven't done that. But I love, love, love the song. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part of my favorites, my favorite shows of the month. Okay, number one, The Last Dance uh, on Netflix. Again, it's Jordan's documentary. It is amazing if you're a basketball fan. If you were a basketball fan in the 90s, early 2000s, you will love, love, love this. I finished the season, like they were releasing few episodes every, um, you know, week and it took a while, but it's amazing. Check it out. Then we have Trial by Media. Okay, so each episode is a different story. It's about people um, where in, in their actual legal cases, how the media stories impacted the outcome of the, the trial. And again, this is free like Facebook and all of this. This is like way back in the 90s. And it's pretty interesting. Like when they had court TV in America and that was like an actual whole like kind of show that you had, <laughs> uh, which is, it's interesting because, um, you know, today we think of it and you're like, really? But yeah, it was really good. Check that out. Then we have Hollywood. Again, an amazing, amazing, amazing show. Love, love, loved it. Again, set in a different time. Um, it's just, it's an amazing show. Check it out. I also watched Becoming, which is the docu uh, on uh, Michelle Obama's book tour. Um, I mean, I'm, that woman is incredible, incredible, like it's like I literally hope that she stands for like president someday and like that would be insane. But um, she's such a powerhouse and she has such valuable advice for young people. I really enjoyed the documentary. I would recommend um, checking it out. I'm also going to read the book after watching this. They're not connected apparently, so you can totally watch it if you're reading the book or read the book after. Yeah, but I mean, she's amazing. If you're looking for some masala and cringe content, Too Hot to Handle has a special episode out right now uh, where it tells you what the characters, like all the people in the show are up to now, not characters, but like people are up to like after the show because the show was obviously shot like ages ago. And um, it's interesting. I don't know how real it is, but if you're looking for masala, Check it out. Then we have White Lines. Again, it's made by the same people that made Money Heist, but it's not as good as Money Heist. But it is fun. It's good. It's set in uh, uh, in Spain, and it's just about uh, you know the whole uh, drug scene, and uh, there's a murder mystery and lots of like different elements. But I quite enjoyed the show. But I like if you're gonna watch it because they made Money Heist, don't do that because then you'll be disappointed. Uh, but it's pretty good. Then we have Billions on Hotstar, new season again, few episodes every week. I hate this and right now guys, all platforms that are streaming platforms, can I please, please, please request you to just not do this weekly episode thing, like just put it out there so we can just consume it and be done with it because 
right now we're not even like going anywhere and i just feel like it's so unfair uh, but i love 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 billions the new season is uh, is pretty good uh, it's addictive and i just hate that it ends with like an episode a week and i'm just like ah and last but not the least we have defending jacob on apple tv again it's it's really different it's chris evans in a totally different avatar and i've really enjoyed the show so far like i've been i've been watching it quite a bit and it's pretty good so that's it from me guys those were my may favorites comment below with your may favorites you guys know the drill whatever you've been loving shows food items beauty items anything stay home stay safe bye Mwah.